here to offer them that extra support as the 12th fan, but it's really good to see him back on the bench. Maybe could have felt a start in PLO's side, but still, nevertheless, still a strong, strong bench for him to choose from. Yeah, Juve's form has hardly been great by their own high standards. The defeat to Barca on Wednesday, certainly significant, I'm sure, I feel like for them. Well, this is what it's all about as a player, when you're coming up against the very, very best. And this is what you want to do as an individual. You want to see what you're like against the very, very best in your country and the very, very best in the world. And this is going to be a really intriguing test for Spezia. Something they may feel that they can get something from, but you know Juventus at any given time, they can create chances. But at the moment, a little bit fragile at the back, ill-disciplined as well with a few red cards this season already. This is a really interesting game. A makeshift home and a marquee team. Cesena continuing to serve as the lodgings for Spezia for another month or so. But, uh, back home in the West, their fans glued to their TVs today for this potentially epic encounter against Italy's finest. Today's challenge couldn't be greater or grander. A club formed in 1906. Italy divided by the war back. The Uruguay and Benton Court out to Quadrado. Let's not forget, they hit the woodwork three times. Curious away. Dybala now. Morata has McKenney arriving. Wriggling away from Bastoni. Well, he's done wonderfully well to now Bastoni. Back to Dybala now. Morata on the move ahead of him. Dybala has the angle. But he hasn't got the finish. The East Coast. And in fact, what they do is they split their time through the week. And now, McKenney try to feed Quadrado to court. And look at the run here of McKenney unselfishly tees it up, and Alvaro Morata tucks it in. They look across at the sideline in frustration. Well, it's brilliant build-up play, isn't it? Morata is the one who's offside, maybe from the first ball, and maybe from the second ball as well. That's quickly how things can change with a side that really possess a lot of pace and good movement within that final third. The one touch, the two touch passing around the corner. Ferreira and Spezia can do about it here. Kate okay, will take it. Morata, lovely interchange here. And you have to say what a good job he did and what a good job he's done there. Well, Ptolemy and uh, too strong for that would be a curious one. Vega, Tabas, that is. Chiesa, support there with him. Sure that it's that frame where they hit it. Richie's flipping it up for McKenney. He's done well to try and. Chiesa's got to Morata there. McKenney is there. And he's fouled Providel. Morata. Pass, that is. Chiesa, support there with him. All against the Serie A champions. And Pavego drifting forward, unmarked, a little flick on the way through, but onside and 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I mean, they just hold in there, and you need a little bit of luck there against a good side. Pavega makes a good midfield run there, but I mentioned about Benton, Kur and Arto in that midfield area. Looking wide, Dybala, Quadrado to the out, with the three points in the bag so far, and away to Ferenc Maros this week. Head down here, Morata, McKenney in the middle, and McKenney! Oh, goodness. It was a, a foot race between McKenney and the two Spezia defenders. Great, great change of play in there from Morata. Julian. Juve corner. Chiesa driving at Ferrer. Here for Quadrado. Back for Dybala. Richie's back. Well, an intriguing and a, a time. And players in co coming off Juventus' bench. So it's going to be a tough second half for them. But as they've shown with that little ball in behind the back three, that they can create chances. Hello at the bottom of your picture, wearing number 80. Oh. Clever ball by Benton Court. 
Brilliant running in behind here. Mobile, agile defender, height, power, agility. Can or not? We'll have to wait and see. He loves cutting in from the flex. Yeah. He's always done it, hasn't he? Deep towards Demira. Body out and have a shot towards goal. Unselfishly tried to cross it. Oh, lovely. Although they've uh, fashioned some good chances. Bobega leaves it. Bastoni. Oh, wonderful ball. Bartolome. He's a handful. And that's uh, well, uh, a reasonable effort. Again, the shortness of the pass. Tricky one, and they've lost it defensively. Agudelo nips in. Mistake by Panucci. They won't be happy with a two pack. Little over six pack. Spezia committing players forward. Suddenly the race is on for Dybala. And can Spezia get their noses in front? Dybala. Link man. McKenney forward. There goes the flag as he uh, finally goes for the ball. But here is the refractor. Great ball. Cristiano Ronaldo! Back from COVID-19. Back in business. And Juve back in front. Well, you just can't keep him out of the headlines, can you? Cristiano Ronaldo, and it makes an immediate impact, even just before the goal, his movement and his energy levels. Bartolome outside him. That's a great ball in as well. Oh, McKenney makes way for Aaron Ramsey. Found a good position, tracked by Bonucci here. And uh, of him, the authority he has on the rest of the team. That's a great header down, and the goalkeeper keeps it out initially. Agudelo knocks it in, but the whistle has gone, and it won't count. And here's Rabio in behind, Maratta's unguarded. Rabio's going to walk it in, and it's a third goal for Juventus as the cream finally comes to the top. Again, it's just another midfield run there, and it's another hard that in a moment. Here's Chiesa, and Chiesa goes down. That's a penalty. A yellow card for good measure for the earlier challenge too. Ronaldo, Penenka style, makes it 4-1 Juve. And he has another for this burgeoning Cristiano Ronaldo collection. This was the decision that was made there. I think it's soft. But. Sulla destra. Musa Sissoko riesce a resistere all'assalto della persona.